Hello everybody. This is my very first video, so any advice is greatly appreciated. I hate to be that guy, but if you don't subscribe, I will call an airstrike on your residence and destroy all that you love. You have 5 seconds to hit the big red button. Anyways please enjoy the video. Fighter airframes have long been used by militaries to dominate the skies. Today, they are some of the most advanced and powerful weapons of war. In this video, we'll be looking at some of the coolest fighter jets in the world based on their speed, agility, and advanced technological capabilities. These jets are some of the best that a military can get its hands on. Number 1. Mikoyan MiG-31BM, Russia. The MiG-31BM is the most up-to-date version of the MiG-31 Interceptor, which plays a key role in Russian air defense. Thanks to its enhanced capacity, it has evolved into a multi-role fighter that can be employed for many missions. Back in 2010, a project to upgrade Russian interceptors to the MiG-31BM standard was adopted. This process would cover both offensive and defensive strategies. By 2017, 110 MiG-31s have been upgraded in order to prolong their service life for an additional 15 years. It's expected that all existing MiG-31s will receive the same treatment in the near future. This aircraft is specially crafted to accomplish long-distance interception, exact strike, and defensive suppression missions. The cockpit comes fitted with advanced screens which allow pilots to deploy accurately guided munitions. The MiG-31BM is a fighter that compromises agility in favor of reaching high speeds, altitude, and rate of climb. In fact, it's known as one of the fastest production aircraft around, being capable of going up to 3,000 km per hour. Number 2. McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle, USA. The F-15 Eagle has been in service for the last 30 years and it is still considered one of the top fighters. It has been capable of successfully penetrating enemy defense and obtaining more than 100 air kills during its service. This impressive record makes this aircraft a formidable warplane of the Cold War era and the modern day. The F-15 is equipped with weaponry and electronics, enabling it to detect, acquire, track and attack enemy aircraft, while operating in enemy-controlled airspace. This fighter carries a wide range of air-to-air -air missiles and is extremely maneuverable. The F-15 is an effective, robust jet fighter with state-of-the-art weapons and sensors. It can find, track and destroy enemies with ease. It is equipped with a range of air-to-air -air missiles and its highly agile design makes it an excellent choice for beyond visual range, BVR, confrontations and dogfights. The F-15 Eagle is still an integral part of the US Air Force and will continue serving until 2025, at least. This aircraft has been exported to several countries such as Israel, Japan, and Saudi Arabia. Number 3. Sikhoi Su-35, Russia. The Russian Air Force has recently opted for the Su-35 multi-role fighter as a cost-effective replacement for the MiG-29. It offers improved features that weren't present in its predecessor and is available for export since 2012. The Su-35 is referred to by developers as a 4 generation fighter. It has an impressive combination of speed, agility, and long range, in addition to its high altitude ability and heavy weaponry. In light of this, Western 4 plus generation fighters must reckon with the massive threat that it poses. The Su-35 is an advanced multi-role fighter jet that exceeds its primary role of air superiority. It also has the capacity to conduct a variety of ground attack missions and can hold up to 8,000 kilograms of weapons on its 12 hardpoints. This impressive carrying capacity allows it to take on more types of missions than many other aircraft in the same category. The engines of this aircraft are its major advantage, allowing it to travel at high speeds without relying on afterburners. It can cruise for extended periods of time and its 3D thrust vectoring makes it highly maneuverable. All these features make this aircraft an absolute powerhouse. Despite this, Russia still has some catching up to do in terms of the development, acquisition, 
and proper use of some of the newest technologies. Thank you everybody for watching, and please do leave some feedback and like and subscribe if you really enjoyed this. Again this is my first video and I'm not really sure what I'm doing as of right now so anything helps.